16 Cameron Carter Vickers and wearing 21 Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Pirelli Stadium We are returning after the international break and the uh, Brewers face Sheffield United today uh, on this Friday night uh, so we have, uh, I actually uh, did a bit of research once uh, we have just lost one of our last 11 games on a Friday night. Uh, hopefully we continue that run with three points here against the Blades. Uh, so the team news has been released. It is um, people saying 4 one 3 2. I'm just going to simplify it down to a 4 triple 2. Uh, so we've got McFadden right back, Buxton turned the centre back, Stephen Warnock sitting pretty at left back. Then uh, two defensive midfielders. I can't really uh, pick one out, so I'm just going to go with Luke Murphy and Jamie Allen for those positions. And then we've got Matty Lund and Matty Palmer uh, playing a little bit further forward uh, with Marvin Sodal and Lloyd Dyer up front. Uh, so Lucas Aikens is on the bench um, along with Tom Flanagan, uh, who was of course dropped uh, from the Millwall game. Um, now I'm hoping we're going to be able to get three points tonight, but unfortunately I'm going to have to stick with my prediction from my preview yet again. I think it's going to finish 2-1 Sheffield United. Uh, and like I say, I reckon Lloyd Dyer will get the goal uh, for the Brewers. Uh, but we'll all find out very shortly uh, when the teams come out. And I'll see you guys then. Come on, you Brewers.
side, so it's half time here. It's Burton Albion 1, Sheffield United 2. Uh, the Blades, like I said, uh, when the Brewers scored well on top here at the Pirelli. Uh, so I'll talk you through the few goals. Uh, the first Sheffield United goal was a penalty. Came after uh, Steve, um, sorry, Carl McFadden with a um, pretty pointless barge into, um, I, I don't know who it was, unfortunately. Uh, but Billy Sharp steps up and converts the penalty. No chance for Steve. Uh, right into the top of the net. And then the Brewers came back level for a matter of minutes. Two. Uh, two minutes, in fact. And uh, to be fair, it was, uh, like I say in the video, it looks like an absolute stunner uh, from Mike Palmer with his weaker foot by the looks of it. Right into the top corner, no chance for Jamal Blackman. Uh, but like I said, that lead only lasted a matter of minutes as uh, Sheffield United literally came back up the other end. Uh, long ball over the top. Defence have tried to get the man offside. They failed. Uh, it's a Billy Sharp one-on-one -on -one with Stephen Bywater. And once again, he beats the former Millwall keeper. Uh, so like I say, it's been really poor. Stephen Warner has been um, injured. Rather horrific. Uh, I'll bring Tom Flanagan on right now for him. Uh, we also had a Sheffield United player. He went off with an injury. Uh, looked pretty serious, actually. I think possibly a broken leg or something along those lines. Uh, so hopefully he can have a nice quick recovery. As we'll see you guys when the teams come back out. Come on, you brewers. time then as I'm uh, sure you all know finished Burn Albion 1 Sheffield United 3 uh, just the one uh, goal in the second half of Sheffield Liam Clark flipping out sorry about that Liam Clark uh, with a headed goal from uh, close range quite a good header actually uh, no chance for Steve but uh, Walnut probably should have done better dealing with uh, the cross 
Um, so yeah, a um, few notes on moments earlier in the game. I have looked back at uh, Matty Palmer's goal and it was uh, with his weak foot. Right in the top corner, great strike. And, and another moment, um, and I'm actually going to uh, put a warning right now. Uh, I'm going to show you a picture of the injury for, uh, that Cuts uh, received uh, late on in the uh, first half. Uh, so if you're a bit queasy, uh, look away right now. And as you can see, uh, if you did, of course, uh, not skip, it really is quite uh, horrible. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be a leg break. And uh, I wish him all the best for a speedy recovery. Obviously, we've seen uh, similar things happen to uh, like Luke Shaw uh, along those lines. Uh, so hopefully he can have a nice speedy recovery. And uh, we'll see him back in action soon for Sheffield United. Uh, but yeah, once again, another poor, poor, to be fair, today's performance. It's possibly one of the worst that I've um, ever seen uh, from the Brewers. We just didn't have a one, you know, Matty Palmer standout player for me. Uh, deservedly got man of the match. Um, but yeah, that's actually pretty much it. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this video, guys. And I'll see you all on Monday. For Ed Brentford, uh, and I'll see you on Monday for a Brentford pe uh, preview. Uh, so yeah, thanks very much for watching again. I'll see you guys next time.